Assalamu alaikum and let's get writing. Persuasive non-fiction. Hum roz is kism ki writing se humara vasta padta hai on a daily basis. Bas hume pata nahi chalta that this is persuasive non-fiction. What am I talking about? I'm talking about advertising. Regularly, every day, we are either reading, listening or looking at some sort of an advertising that is persuading us to buy something. So it's persuasive non-fiction. So if you look at the definition, persuasive writing is a form of non-fiction writing that encourages careful word choice, the development of logical arguments and a cohesive summary. Yani ke aap aise loves istamal kar rahe hain jisse log kuch kharidenge ya kisi cheez pe amada honge, kisi cheez pe persuade karoge aap unko ایک logical argument دو گے اگر آپ کہتے ہیں کہ جی یہ tooth paste آپ کے لیے سب سے بہترین ہے تو وہ سوچے گا کیوں بہترین ہے کیونکہ جو dentist ہیں وہ اس کو recommend کرتے ہیں آپ کے دانت یہ سب سے زیادہ سفید کرتا ہے so all of this is trying to persuade you into buying that tooth paste so persuasive non-fiction writing is geared towards persuading the reader to changed the way they behave or what they believe or what they think or what kind of action they would be taking. So it is a consciously written piece to tell people how to behave. It's a behavior change tactic that people use commonly. This persuasive non-fiction is in social sector or development sector. Mein bhi hota hai. So if you're seeking a freelance job in this sector, you will find that you are writing a lot of this because you are convincing the audience to pick up some action or some sort of um, behavior that they're not already doing. For example, polio ke katre. So, jis tarah hum uh, aksar sunte hain ke polio ke jo do katre hain, wo bachon ko uh, zindagi de sakte hain. So, this is persuading parents and persuading uh, children who are old enough to have those two drops of polio to save their life. That is why persuasive non-fiction is part of our daily consumption of reading or uh, daily consumption of viewing something which has written or that we are listening to. So, presenting evidence in the form of examples, research findings, statistics, expert opinions or direct quotations. This is all part of persuasive non-fiction. جب ہم پرسویٹ کرنا چاہتے ہیں ہمیں ایویڈنس دینا بہت ضروری ہے ہمیں اپنی بات کو منوانے کے لیے کوئی ایک ہمیں ثبوت دینا ہے کہ یہ بات ہم کیوں کر رہے ہیں اور یہ کیوں کرنی چاہیے تو وہ جو ثبوت ہے وہ کئی طور کئی طریقوں سے آ سکتا ہے وہ اسٹیٹسٹکس کے ذریعے آ سکتا ہے ڈیٹا کے ذریعے آ سکتا ہے انڈورسمنٹ یو نو سم بڈی ایلس ہو ہیز بینیفٹیڈ فرام دس از انڈورسنگ واٹ یو سینگ سو دیٹ از آلسو پارٹ آف پرسویسو writing and persuasive, uh, convincing people that they need to do what you are asking them to do. So the art of persuasion includes, when you're writing it, evaluate evidence. You have to see that what you are claiming, you have to evaluate the evidence that is not there. Or you can claim it or not, so before you talk about what you are talking about, you have to see what you are talking about. تو یہ دیکھیں کہ کیا ہمیں یہ بات کرنی بھی چاہیے یا نہیں کرنی چاہیے اگلی بات آ جاتی ہے ایویڈنس کی ایویڈنس کیا ہے آپ کو وہ ثبوت اپنے آرگیومنٹ کو یا اپنی بات کو منوانے کے لیے ساتھ دینا ضروری ہے ایویڈنس ٹھوس ہے کس سورس سے آ رہا ہے کس کون کون سے مرحلے طے کر کے آ رہا ہے بہت عرصے سے دیکھا جا رہا ہے یا ابھی نیا نیا آیا ہے So all of these things you have to make sure that your evidence is also strong. It's not a weak evidence. Incomplete information. This is a strategy that sometimes needs to be used when you're persuading people. You don't always talk about everything. You know when we have my fact is my fact and your fact is your fact. The thing that sometimes if I'm looking at something as 16 and you're looking at it as 91, it's not always necessary to talk about that 91. You're looking at it as 16 and you present it as 16. So, is tarah hum thodi si we withhold information just to make sure that our argument or our evidence is supporting what we want to persuade people on. 
counterclaims, touch them, attack them even before they can. So proactively, आप जो counter claims हैं, उनके बारे में बात करें ताकि लोग जो है वो कोई counter कर ना सकें क्योंकि आपने already उसको counter कर दिया है. Making judgments, you have to make sure that while you are saying and you are persuading people that this is important. You don't make judgments. Don't be judgmental. अगर कोई नहीं कर रहा, that's okay. You just have to keep persuading. हमने उसको judgment नहीं pass करनी कि अगर आप नहीं कर रहे तो आप गलत कर रहे हैं. Point of view. आप अपना point of view बहुत strongly बताइए और clearly बताइए कि आपका point of view क्या है. Argument in the sense that what is your position on something. And we will talk about this in the argumentative non-fiction course a little more in detail. Persuasion techniques बहुत सारी होती हैं. Bias, there is an element of bias because you are taking a stance on what you want to persuade people on, and that's okay. And it's okay if that slight bias comes in. And it's important at times to admit कि हाँ जी थोड़ा सा bias है, but मैं आपको persuade करना चाह रहा हूँ कि आप मेरी बात माने. So Again, when you come up with bias, you are clear what the purpose is. What kis purpose ke saath aap ye baat kar rahe hain? Aur aakhir mein propaganda. There is an element of propaganda. Aur propaganda jo hai, bhoat istamal hota hai. So persuasive non-fiction, jaha hum kehte hain ki advertising mein bhoat istamal hota hai. Politicians use it a lot. Lawyers use it a lot. So when they are doing all of this, they are actually propagating, they're doing a propaganda for their point of view so that they can convince you to do what they want. A very key example of this is the speech by uh, what is now known as the great infamy speech. And I'll quote from it. Yesterday, December 1941, a date which live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by the naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Ye us ke President Roosevelt ne boli thi, aur jis tarah usne boli ye speech, uske foreign baad America went into attack. He was able to persuade the people of America that the war against Japan is inevitable and we have to go for it. Why? Because they attacked us we need to attack them. So therefore, this form of non-fiction is an important one because it drives action from people, it drives a change in behavior from people and there are lots of opportunities, especially for freelancers out there, to make a living out of writing persuasive non-fiction. Thank you.